We've seen a lot of machines here, Interpec. But now let's take a closer look and find out what they're made of. We're in Hall 18 right now to take a look at the Parallel Trade Fair components. We're here in Hall 18 with Anton from the company Schmerzal, or maybe I should let you say it. Schmerzal, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So, what have you got here, Interpac? What products have you brought with you? Um, we are a family company. Uh, we produce of safety components and uh, safety systems. Uh, also, uh, consulting uh, all around machinery safety. Mm -hmm. And here at the booth, uh, we have a packaging machine from our customer uh, uh, company, Wolf. Mm -hmm. And we show that we have, uh, uh, we offer a wide portfolio uh, solu of solutions to make uh, human machine uh, interaction safe. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, this machine has uh, Safety uh, uh, safety senders on the door. So if, if you open the door, machine uh, uh, will stop, and all dangerous move, movement will be stopped. Yeah. Uh, over here, for example, on the HMI, we have new uh, uh, range of common control devices, and uh, in the cabinet, we have uh, main switch in hygienic design and also uh, safety solenoid interlock and uh, safety uh, relay modules. Very compact, very uh, uh, fast, uh, yeah. This is a very interesting uh, product. It's uh, AZM 300 uh, safety solenoid interlock with a patented working principle with the uh, shaft and the star handle. Yeah. So we can run from all uh, three si uh, sides, yeah. And uh, yeah, this uh, keep the uh, door uh, locked, yeah, yeah safe. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Great. We also have some highlight mm -hmm. over there. It's a uh, new, uh, uh, it's the smallest uh, safety uh, solenoid in the, in the in the world. So with this uh, compact form, we can achieve a holding force of 2,000 Newton. And uh, it has uh, angular flexibility of 180 degrees, so we can run from all sides. Uh, it has a RFID sensor on the, uh, inside, and uh, we can see LED diagnostic from all sides. And uh, yeah, by stable principle, this is highlight, yeah, it's exhibition. It's uh, suit, suits perfectly on packaging machine, on the flap doors, on hinge doors, yeah. Yeah. Well, you showed us some of your products, some of your innovations. How's the show going for you? It's very well. Yeah, yeah. We had we had also uh, a lot of uh, leads uh, on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we had yeah. I think it's very well for us. Yeah, wow. yeah. Uh, we also have a, a department technicum. Okay. We offer a range of uh, services, safety mm -hmm. services like uh, uh, CA marking. We help with documentation with the safeguards installation, uh, trainings for customers. And uh, yeah, my colleague can show what, what we have on the uh, yeah, Technicum. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, yeah. well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Uh, it was great talking with you and we wish thank you, you very success much. here. Yeah, thank you, show. thank you. I'm here with Yosef from the company. Uh, thank you very much for the grammar, the pronunciation lesson. <laughs> So, what do you have at the Interpack here? What new products can you show us? Well, um, first we are presenting ourselves to the industry. First Alpina is a, a, big, a big company. Mm -hmm. It's the fourth largest employer in Austria. Wow. Uh, and we are 50,000 people worldwide mm -hmm. with a turnover of about 15 billion. So we are already in many different areas where we are very successful as a supplier of materials. We are talking tool steel. We are the number one tool steel company in the world. And we provide uh, uh, materials into the automotive, into aerospace, oil and gas, and energy sector in a lot of different businesses. So uh, we were not that familiar with uh, the food business yet. Mm -hmm. So uh, we um, want to make the name known in the industry mm -hmm. and uh, gain some trust and uh, show some new possibilities for the machine makers and manufacturers and also for the uh, customers that mm. are producing anything to 
use tool steels for applications where it never has been used before to reach better cutting results, longer lasting cycles of, of usage and uh, uh, less regrinding, less changes, less stops. And actually the steels that we have are not known to the food industry so far. And that's actually our purpose here is we are showing just some examples, but more of it is we are showing ourselves mm -hmm. and trying to present ourselves as a problem, problem solver. Sure. Okay. Well, is there anything in particular, a particular innovation, a highlight that you might, you might like to point out? Uh, sure. Uh, so for example, if uh, we can move over here, What we have here is uh, our uh, meat grinding technology mm. is one possibility. So uh, usually a meat grinder, everybody knows. Meat sure, grinders yeah. have been around for many, many years right. and the technology itself has not changed much. Design also not that much. So the only way to be more effective here is to use different materials. Mm. And we have also coatings, PVD coatings, plasma uh, uh, um, deposition. That's something that our uh, one of our companies is doing. And we have the right friction partners. We are using tool steel for all these tools. And where there's a lot of friction, we are using the coatings to reduce the friction. So that usually a customer would use that for a month or two, mm -hmm. and then needs to exchange them for a new set, ours with certain, um, let's say, regrinding processes, which are very low, can work up to three years with one certain uh, uh, setup like that. So, of course, the, most machine manufacturers are not that eager to do that because that will hurt their spare parts business. And uh, we understand that, of course, we don't want to hurt nobody's business. But on the other side, we have approaches from a lot of customers, which are food processors, food producers, that say, I need better performance. I don't want to stop in the middle of a production shift to exchange cutting tools. And uh, that's one example of how we can prolong instead of six, seven hours before regrinding, this is a hundred days. Wow. Yeah. And you can use that up to three years. We have Certainly examples in the industry. So that is actually one uh, highlight that I would like to show you today. And there is also a case study that we customers can look into if they scan the code. And there's a Sturgley Burger. It's a British burger producer mm -hmm. who's actually using that. And there is a calculation of how much money he saves of a total cost of ownership because you can imagine this is more expensive right. than a standard than the industry mm -hmm. standard uh, but it's also much higher performance so this is one of the things of the highlights right. that i would like to share with you well you mentioned you're one of the biggest uh, companies in austria now a hot topic here at interpack and i'm sure components is sustainability maybe in a few sentences you could explain what your company is doing to address that issue well, uh, just like I told you, mm. for example, a uh, food producer, meat producer yeah. who's work making burgers or min minced meat, ground beef, whatever it is, he would run typically four or five lines yeah. and would mm, use like for each line three, four of these kits during one year. Mm -hmm. So the sustainability here is that you will just use one and you mm -hmm. don't have so much to produce that much scrap. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if you produce with our tools, yeah. Uh, for example, products like dried products like salami that need after it gets filled in a casing needs to be going into a drying chamber for 30, 40 days, depending on the sort. With this, the distribution of meat inside the casing is so much better that we can save up to 10% of drying time. And that's real money, especially yeah. if you consider the energy costs. So there's much more that I could talk about this. Uh, there's a lot of benefits for the industry and uh, uh, the food industry is looking at that. They are quite conservative. Nobody believes us at the beginning, but yeah. after testing that, it's usually very positive and uh, 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 customers are purchasing that. Great. Right. But it's, we are going more into the premium sector, mm -hmm. so it's not for everybody really. But uh, yeah. those that are really counting the total cost of ownership, they will appreciate it. Okay, so if I could sum up, high quality products that last Extremely. Long high quality. Our motto is one step ahead. Ah, so one step ahead. Yeah, we're trying to do that. So not just 10% better game changer. All Otherwise, right. we don't do it. You heard it here, folks. One step ahead from the company. First stop eating. We're here with Andrea from Gematic. 
Hello? to talk about components. You've got a lot of products here on your stand. Can you tell us about some of them? Sure, sure. So thanks, Ovor. First of all, well, what we are showing here is our uh, product portfolio of the vacuum division mainly. So in 2020, we invested a lot of time and resources in creating a new series of products line, mm -hmm. investing in creating uh, suction cups, uh, suspensions, and, and uh, vacuum ejectors, uh, and a series of vacuum pumps with integrated uh, valves uh, and, uh, uh, and also cartridges. So today we are showing uh, what is our offering in terms of uh, gripping whatever material in whatever uh, uh, environment and application, mainly with food and packages, considering the, the fair we are in. And uh, just to give you a very short introduction, one of the main topic uh, that we are showing are foam grippers, for example, which are basically extruded aluminum bar with vacuum generators inside that we provide in several shapes and dimension and that are used to, to grip uh, different parts according to irregular surfaces or different material. The, the bench that we have here is used to provide the direct samples and contact of our customers with products so we can directly show how our suction cups and pumps behave in direct contact with the customer components like uh, cans or i don't know uh, potatoes uh, bags etc etc great um is there any particular highlights that you have here for at components that you'd like to show us well i would like to point out this new development of ours a very lightweight foam gripper which is based on carbon fiber sheet so it's basically the same product uh, I showed before, but this is very lightweight and yet powerful because it's based uh, on the carbon fiber pin material, vacuum pumps, mm. and uh, the foam gripper at the bottom, which can be used uh, to grip uh, and move uh, very heavy object or carbon boxes like this one. So very lightweight, very compact, yet powerful. So we've noticed, uh, I'm sure you do a lot more in many industries with your products. We're in the middle of a packaging trade fair though. Right. How important for you is the packaging and food industry? Well, for us, it's strategic right now because mm -hmm. the main focus for Gmatic has always been the automotive industry. Okay. But with the vacuum division, we are now widening uh, our offering, entering also new markets like the food and, uh, right. and uh, the packaging. And so we are getting a lot of interest for customers that see Gmatic now as a partner, not only for components, but mm -hmm. for complete solution. Because we can provide a single suction cup or the entire gripping system. Yeah, that's great. So last question. How has the show components been for you? Oh, <laughs> it has been great. It has been great. Uh, very uh, three days, uh, we recorded a lot of contact with new customers, really excited about the products and uh, the technology that Gmatic can offer, from automotive to, to whatever gripping solution you need. All right, gripping solutions, Gmatic. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks to you for your time. We're moving on from Hall 18, but rest assured, there's a lot to see here and you won't want to miss out. Components, parallel trade fair to Interpec. Every part counts.